So let me give you three life-changing conclusions that we can live by. Number one, the kingdom way is God's way of doing things and being right, period. We all need a way, the way. This comes, that comes from his righteousness. The world seeks fairness, reparations, worldly rights. God gives us his rightness, his family privilege to operate on earth with authority and dominion. Now, this is a big deal for many. You need a way out, a way up, a way through, a way over. Now, you can't fake God's rightness. It's mathematically perfect to the nth degree. Jesus, the King, came to give us a gift. And it's not just forgiveness. It's not just eternal life. Jesus the King came to set us free from sin for the gift of, you guessed it, His kingdom, His kingdom way. We get to inherit the kingdom of God. So, life-changing conclusion number two, the kingdom way is essential. Why? Because your true identity is empowered in His kingdom. Jesus came to redeem you, to get you back from the curse, but for the blessing. And the blessing is living the kingdom way. Your identity demands a context. Just like a fish needs water, you cannot fulfill your God design living outside God's kingdom. That would be like dropping a car in the Atlantic Ocean and expecting it to perform, right? Recently, a cargo ship sunk mid-Atlantic carrying millions of dollars of Bentleys and Porsche cars to the ocean floor. Now, you don't have to be a car expert to know that those cars will not perform according to their design on the ocean floor. They won't work. They need a road. They need a way. The kingdom way is your way. The context God has designed for you to operate in full power. And now life-changing conclusion number three, God's kingdom transforms your internal reality. Jesus said, seek first. That means this must be your number one priority focus. When your repetition is a constant focus on the kingdom way, it doesn't change you. It transforms you from the inside out. Your entire approach to life begins the process of alignment with King Jesus. He does the work of extracting negative, failure thinking out of you. You see, there's no room for that. That doesn't mean you won't have times when you might experience a fail or a fall, but your internal reality is always, always overriding your external circumstances. 